you guys, welcome back. It's Katarina and I hope you're all doing great today. Welcome back to another top five series. Today we're going to be talking all about concealers for those under eye dark circles. If you struggle with under eye dark circles, girlfriend, I feel your pain. The struggle is real. Like foundations, I am very, very passionate about concealers. I'm always trying new ones out. Always trying to find like, the next best concealer. Because to be honest with you guys, when I don't have any makeup on, my biggest insecurity are my dark under eyes. Along with that, I also have very dry under eyes and I have some fine lines. So these products work amazingly for me. And I really think that at least one of these will work really well for you too. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. And we're just going to jump on in. <music> Go ahead and jump right into my all-time favorite concealer. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Retails for about $6.99, and I'm showing you two different kind of formulas that they have. This one right here is the Dark Circle Eraser. This one right here is the Dark Spot Corrector. I love them both. Um, in terms of the packaging, it comes with a little sponge applicator. Some people like it, some people hate, hate it. I personally really enjoy it. I find it to just apply really nicely. It's a very creamy and full coverage, but kind of almost like a mousse-like feel because it's just so lightweight, so it's not cakey. This one right here was the Dark Circle Eraser. And then this one right here is the Dark Spot Corrector, just so you can see the tiny difference. And I'll link everything that I'm talking about down below, and also the shades and everything. But I am in Light Pale and Fair Light. So this one is my Holy Grail. It's what you've probably seen in most of my videos that I always do. My makeup tutorials, I'm always using this. It's just the perfect combination for highlighting and covering dark circles. The one con I have about this product, and it's not really a con, it's probably more of like a personal con, is that I go through this stuff so fast. And I think it's because I literally put it like all over my face. But I, I don't think these even last me a month. Like one tube of this doesn't even last me a month. I, I go through it so fast, like I'm already out of this one almost and getting close on this one as well. But, needless to say, they're amazing. I use it every single day, so that could be why as well. Next, I want to talk about some different ones. These are from NYX Cosmetics. You can get NYX now at actually a lot of places on their website, Target. Some shopping sites have them as well. Um, this is their HD concealer, and these retail for $4.99. I'm showing you two again because these are the two that I really enjoy for working with the under eye area. This one right here is just in the shade 03 and it's kind of more of, uh, has like a salmon undertone and these are definitely more water based and they're more pigmented. And they also have a really cool formula of a yellow version. So I really enjoy using yellow under my eyes to counteract those blue dark circles that I have. Salmon and yellow shades work really well for that. So these two I love using under my eyes. Um, like I said before, you can definitely tell they have more of a watery consistency. But they blend out beautifully. They are high coverage. Really, really nice product. And with all of these, I do have to set them with a powder. In general, I just always set my under eyes with powder. Otherwise, I do have those fine lines like I mentioned. So it will kind of um, crease throughout the day. So I just use a setting powder or like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, the banana shade. Um, but these are amazing. And for under $5, you just cannot beat that. To another Maybelline product. Also, I wanted to mention, I think Maybelline has the best face products. I recently came across this when I was digging out some foundations and just looking at my collection, and all of my face products when it comes to like concealers, powders, foundations are all from Maybelline, or my favorites are all from Maybelline. I don't know what it is, they just really fit my personal skin type and just... I just really like them. So this right here is a Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the shade 01 Light. It is phenomenal, you guys. It is such high coverage. Um, a lot of people compare this to the uh, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Here's what it looks like swatched. Very high pigmented, very opaque, very creamy, super full coverage. Um, it does feel thicker than the other two that I've showed you because it is the fullest coverage so far, um, but it's really amazing for hiding those dark circles and brightening up at the same time. That retail is sort of $6.99 as well. Super affordable. All the concealers I'm talking about all are under $10, well under $10. So this is another different one. This is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer, and I'm going to be honest with you right off the bat, the very first time I tried this, I hated it. I was like, what is this stuff? It is so high coverage, I wasn't ready for it. So this is their Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer, and you guys, this stuff is intense. So I got mine in the shade Medium Light, which if you are around my shade, I'd recommend going maybe one shade deeper. I still need to get one shade deeper of this. Um, it has like a squeezy tube applicator, which I kind of like. It's okay. 
and a little goes a super long way. More and more that I used it, I tried different applicators to use it, I tried different amounts, I tried just different products to combine it with. And sparingly, it's just amazing. It's super high coverage. It's very matte though. So if you have dry under eyes like I do, you're really going to want to hydrate with an eye cream or a moisturizer. Really hydrate that under eye area. That way you don't have any flakiness or anything like that. But this stuff is so high coverage, so brightening. Um, it covers like literally everything. And so when I really need that brightening under my eyes, when I'm really suffering with those dark circles, I'll pull this guy out. And I really like to focus this right on the inner corner. Instantly lifts your eyes, makes them look more awake, bright, round, big, large, everything. So this stuff is really, really good. And it's super affordable. It retails for just $6. And Hard Candy is a brand that you can get off their website, I believe, or they are sold exclusively at Walmart. Last but most certainly not least is this, and I'm laughing you guys because if you knew how many times it took me to say last but, I was saying last bust. Last bust my, what, <laughs> what? Last bust, <laughs> last, last cat, last. Last bust. <laughs> Anyways, last but <laughs> definitely not least is this Maybelline Master Conceal. This is something I recently picked up. I was very intrigued by it. I had seen a lot of reviews on it, and I just was like, I need to try that out. So this is the, like I said, Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer. So this little guy retails for $8.99. It is the highest price point out of all these concealers. But once again, you guys, Maybelline has got it going on. So this has also has like a squeezy tube applicator. Where am I going to put this? You also need to use this very sparingly, and I got mine in the shade 30 Light Medium, and this one I could almost go up a shade. This was actually a little bit deep for brightening purposes, but it works amazingly for hiding dark circles. So here it is swatched out. It probably is the creamiest out of all of them, has the nicest texture out of all the concealers that I'm showing, and it's just... It's beautiful. It doesn't dry out my under eyes. It doesn't really settle into my fine lines if I set it. And it just creates such a high coverage. Um, I really, really enjoy it. Because I do have this shade though, like I said, I don't use this for highlighting purposes. Just really focusing on covering that dark circle area. Because sometimes, that's the issue. Sometimes uh, I used to use like really light concealers and that's it under my eyes. But I'd noticed that yeah, my face would be bright under there, but my dark circles would still be showing through because I never covered them. I just put like a really light product on there. So you do want to have maybe one or two concealers that have more of like that salmon undertone that are pretty close to your skin tone. Hide that dark circle and then go in with those products that you can highlight really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful in some way. Again, if you struggle with dark circles, I feel your pain. It is so annoying to deal with, but I really think that some of these concealers are really going to work amazing for you guys if you do struggle with those dark circles. So again, thank you so much you guys for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and find it helpful. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Welcome back to my channel, it's Katerina, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial. This is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. It's a little bit more on the dramatic side. I got some requests to do